So we've done some learning about how is our country divided during the Civil War. You were just doing a quick write. You were just quickly writing about a few things that you've learned about it. You're putting your pencil into your pencil tray right now. Tell me what you have learned in the last couple of days after doing our map, reading a book about Abraham Lincoln, plus then looking at Under the Freedom Tree and then the Emancipation Proclamation. What did you write for Keaton, can you tell us what you put? Yes, what I put is our country was divided by the South having slavery and the North wanting to stop it. And Abe Lincoln was, and Abe Lincoln freeing the slaves, and how the Civil War was between the North and South fought that for one reason, slavery, and wanting to stop it, stop it and keep it. Thank you. South wanted slavery to be spreaded into some of the public property and Abraham Lincoln said no, so that's so then that's how the Civil War started. So that new territory land, he was saying that we're not going to have that. So I put the South was um, slave states the, and the North was free states. <coughs> Abraham Lincoln signed the um, Emancipation Proclamation to stop slavery. Our country was divided between us, between our country because the North and the South didn't agree and had a fight for four years. And the fight was called the Civil War. Nice job. Somebody's agreeing with you over here. I think the Civil War started because um, Abraham Lincoln didn't want slavery and the South was going to split from the USA, and Lincoln was going to demolish slavery. One last one. It was the bloodiest war. It was. So our country was divided over slavery. As many of you have said, the North and the South, they were disagreeing greatly. And we heard earlier today that Abraham Lincoln gave this great speech, and he signed this paper called the, what was that again? And it said it freed all the slaves. But when we were actually then listening to the story of Ben and the Emancipation Proclamation, did they get freed just like that? No. <laughs> they didn't. Why do you think that didn't happen? Why didn't they just free them as soon as he gave that speech and signed the proclamation? Why? Because the South, um, because the South probably wouldn't follow the rules. Like they. They probably just—they probably didn't even they didn't follow the rules. They probably would would be having slavery when he said no. All right, so slave. We we're thinking the South probably didn't obey the rules. Yeah. Okay. Because they were their slaves, and they paid, and they paid a lot of money to um, to buy them, and that's that's like your favorite toy, and then you're gonna lose it. Exactly. So you're comparing it to kids and their favorite toys, huh? They don't want to give it up. They don't want to. Yeah, they don't want to give slavery up. All right. Because they pay money. Sam. Um. The. The. The South didn't want to. I mean, it was just a speech. They. They didn't. Have